Here today running wheat with my uh, John Deere 45 combine. Got it last fall. I traded off my two uh, John Deere 42 pull types and a couple of International 82s that I had. Got this one. This is a uh, look to be a cream puff. It's got a few things wrong with it that I had to fix, but no biggie. Uh, I, uh, the choke is a little messed up on it, but if you keep it pushed forward, it, it runs fine. Anyway, it's doing a good job here today. I have a, a few issues that I'm gonna ch check out. The grain's maybe not quite as clean as a, I'd like it to be, but just getting started with this wheat harvest, so we'll work on that a little bit tomorrow. I'm gonna finish up here tonight, do maybe one more round, one more uh, bin load, and then, uh, then I'm gonna call it quits for the day. We've had a lot of rain here, and, but the wheat is dry, it seems to me, based on the taste test, and uh, uh, the ground's wet, but not muddy. So we're not really having to slop through anything and tear up the field. Anyway, the, this is a 1967 John Deere 45. Uh, I believe it was the last year it was made. Uh, this one has a 12 foot head on it with a hume reel. And the fellow added some snouts on it to give it a little more guidance in soybeans. So anxious to try that out and see it, how it does. It does have a, uh, the reel that you can raise and lower from the cab hydraulically. Real simple pulley system with a cylinder on it, as you can see here. A little guidance there. It's not a flex head, so in beans you'll have to watch it, but it looks like it does fine. They also uh, came out the next year with a 3300 and they made a quick touch head for this. And so I actually have one of these if I ever get a quick touch uh, grain head and corn head, I guess you could run a 244 on it, a more modern head. That's supposedly some advantage. Anyway, it's doing a, doing a good job. I took the chopper off. I just didn't want to mess with the belt getting all that off, so I kind of tied it up here. Looks like it's holding in place. And it's making a nice windrow. I'm not cutting real low. Maybe uh, anywhere from four to eight inches. So I'm not gonna bale much straw. I have one issue here that I'm not quite sure what's going on. I'm getting some grain down at the bottom of the <coughs> fan and uh, don't know exactly what that means. Hope it doesn't mean that there's a hole in the grain pan or anything like that, but we'll see about that later. It's not a whole lot, so I'm not too worried about it. I don't see much in the windrow either. Uh, the cab does, it has a cab on it, but it's not air conditioned, but it has a nice fan. That blows well and if you open the windows on both sides keep the door open day like the day where it's about 80 not too bad in there i'm pulling one of the wagons today with my case 400. i normally don't use this because it doesn't have power steering but it's much easier to get under the auger here with this particular combine than uh, the one that i uh, had before so don't need to do a whole lot of maneuvering to get under the thing anyway this tractor always runs fine Steers pretty easy for a non-power steering tractor. I, I think it's a 57 model, and it was a show tractor before, but I, I put them all to use, so it's getting, it's getting dirty now. It's getting some, some work on it. I'm gonna run one more round, so I'll get in the cab now and get started with that. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video, and God bless you. I'll show you a few things in the cab too, I guess. The air blower that it has. I'll turn that on. It's noisy, but it does put out the air. Okay, release the brake. Put it in reverse. Get a little gas. It has a very touchy throttle. Separator in right here. 